Wouldn't it be great if money grew on trees? Well, in a way, it sort of does. You just need to know where to go to look. What's up, everyone? It's Dominic, the Primetime Treasure Hunter. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make hundreds to even thousands of dollars a year selling pine cones or even parts of pine cones on sites like eBay or Etsy. That's right. Pine cones. Now, not just any type of pine cone. There's certain types of pine cones you need to look for, and that's what I'm going to take you through in this video and show you uh, several different examples. But first, before I do that, a disclaimer: make sure that if you are going out into forests or you know any types of wooded areas, that you are taking proper precautions and that you are not doing something that's going to put yourself in danger like you know climbing a tree to some crazy height to pull pine cones down and that you are following any posted rules or laws you don't want to get yourself in trouble taking things off of properties that you shouldn't be doing that from because then you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble but if you have your own private access to places that have pine trees of the types that I'm going to show you, you could be in for a very lucrative situation and not even realize it. So let's go through some examples and I'm going to start off with the type of pine cone that is by far the most expensive and best one to find if you could get access to it. These are knob pine cones and I'm going to give you a little zoom up here so you could just uh, get a quick look at them. And we'll talk about them more in a minute about some of the things that makes them so cool. Uh, but these pine cones, you can see 50 knob pine cones sold for $275 plus $20 shipping. And this is not a one-off. If you go and you look at completed solds, uh, on eBay, so check the comps, you will see that over and over different lots of these pine cones are selling for this amount of money or very close to it. So you could see here, uh, many of them sold for $247.50 plus $20 shipping. And there's many examples of that for lots of 45, just over and over again, different lots. So you could go through, uh, scroll through yourself and you could see that. And it's not only on eBay, you will also see on Etsy that people are selling these uh, types of pine cones as well. Now, a couple things about these pine cones uh, uh, that are pretty darn cool. Uh, first, you know, if you're from the East Coast, you're going to probably say to yourself, these don't look like the pine cones that uh, that I grew up with. And that's true. They don't because these pine cones are found on the West Coast, mostly California, but they could also be found in Oregon and Washington. Uh, so, you know, the thing that's neat about them and jumps out is they're kind of spiky and they're very, very tightly closed. In fact, they only open to disperse their seeds in forest fires. So if you think that fires are always bad, they're not. Uh, because that's the only way that this type of tree will be able to reproduce. So they are very, very hardy trees, very hardy uh, cones. And uh, in addition to that, uh, they grow in very poor soil areas. So they don't even need like great soil conditions uh, to grow them in. So just another thing to keep in mind with regards to uh, knob uh, pine cone trees, if you were ever uh, thinking of uh, getting one of these uh, yourself. And I'll show you uh, a picture of what one of these trees looks like uh, in a moment. Now, uh, they are pretty much the rarest type of pine cone to get because they are tricky to get. And I'll show you why they're a bit tricky uh, in a moment here. Now, uh, this would be a kind of a, a more ideal situation uh, with these pine cones in that they are, you know, you have like kind of like a nice space here where they could just pop off. Now, some of them will obviously uh, fall to the ground. You could see here that they will cluster together, usually in groups of three to five uh, on the tree. They'll sometimes be on the branches, sometimes right on the uh uh, of the bark of the tree uh, itself. Uh, but what happens is that they have a thick resin uh, to them and sometimes they get so embedded uh, into the tree bark that they could be almost impossible uh, to get out and sometimes actually impossible uh, to get out without significantly 
uh, breaking them or damaging them. You could see an example uh, here of how difficult uh, they can be uh, to get off because of how embedded uh, some of them sometimes uh, can get. But uh, again, if you do have access uh, to uh, these types of trees uh, legally, then uh, these types of pine cones really could be a gold mine for you. And here's an example up here of what some of these types of trees would look like. So for California uh, folks, West Coast folks, uh, this is definitely something uh, to be on the lookout for. Now, why do people like these? It's not just because they're rare. They can be used for uh, pretty valuable decorative purposes. And uh, all you have to do is go on Etsy and do a search for uh, knob pine cones and uh, you will see uh, many examples of things show up and when they are cut open they really look beautiful uh, the natural uh, geometry uh, inside and outside of things in nature is very captivating to a lot of people and people will pay uh, big money for it. I mean, think about it. If you live out on the East Coast and this is the type of stuff that you like, you will pay up for it. Like, uh, for example, these uh, pine cone altar pieces will sell for 60 bucks. And if you go over here, you'll see many examples of uh, what they typically do with these are they make these what they call knob cone uh, pendants. And so they will just slice off one piece of that knob pine cone and they'll polish it up and they'll make, you know, really nice pieces. So uh, this would be an example uh, right here of a polished uh, knob cone. So if you are very creative, uh, you can make pieces like this. So for Etsy creators out there watching this, and you can see 62 bucks just for this um, gemstone uh, pine cone uh, pendant. So uh, people are putting things inside of it to make this kind of, uh, they call it a third eye. Uh, sometimes they're called third eye pendants. So uh, be on the lookout for that. There's there's all sorts of things that you can do to decorate the inside of uh, knob cones. And you could also make little necklaces out of them as well. So you could see here, uh, this is uh, for $65, just little pieces of the knob cones that are put together with beads and all sorts of other things uh, to make these, uh, you know, little nice, um, you know, pieces of jewelry here. So if you are someone who's into jewelry, you have those kind of creative skills. Um, you know, it could even be worth it investing in knob cones and see what you could do with them and make your money back on the crafting end of it. So, um, you know, I hope that if you know somebody who's talented in this uh, area, um, you know, you could pass this on to them because uh, this could be something of... Um, of great interest to them. But again, overall, uh, knob cones, highly, highly sought after. Um, with regards to cleaning, by the way, you will see that here it says they are hand cleaned with no solvents used. Well, these are easier to hand clean than other types of um, pine cones because they're so tightly closed compared to the open ones. Uh, what a lot of people will do with pine cones is that they will uh, bake them. And uh, that is to get rid of bugs, really tiny little bugs. If you don't do that, uh, you do run the risk of if you bring pine cones, any types of pine cones, not just these, but any types of pine cones into your house uh, that you will be overrun with little critters and bugs. And so that's why a lot of people will bake them. Now, I take absolutely no responsibility for you figuring out how to bake pine cones if that's something that you tried to do. I take no responsibility for any fires or anything like that from baking pine cones. That's something you have to look up and uh, research yourself in terms of uh, how to do that. But I'm just giving you information that that is uh, something people will do. And they will disclose that in their listing that their pine cones are are baked. Now, what if you tell me, well, you know what? That's great. I don't live in California. I'm over in the uh, in central U.S. A lot of people from uh, Texas, obviously a lot of people from California. So I'm trying to find examples that will, you know, be all over the country. So uh, for Texas, there are what are known as Texas pine cones. And uh, this is uh, an example uh, right here. Now, these are not as lucrative to sell as the uh, knob pine cones, but You'll see here that if you have 500 of them, now that does sound like a lot, but you have to factor in here that there's $80 shipping. So 120 bucks plus $80 shipping 
you know, that's um, that's two hundred dollars right there for five hundred of these. Now, there's different types of Texas pine cones. The ones that you're seeing there are the longleaf pines and the loblolly pines. That's the um, that's the types of cones that are in that mix. So um, those are the ones that you uh, want to be on the lookout for. Now, uh, there's another type of pine cone to look for, and this is just a single pine cone. It is from what's called a coulter pine, and depending on how big it is and depending on how it looks, some of these individually can go for crazy amounts of money. Like this one here, you could see is just about 14 to 15 inches, and this one sold for $115 for a single pine cone. They are sometimes referred to as monster pine cones because, as you can see here, these things can become quite gigantic, and people just love these these things for the artistic appeal. Uh, they're great conversation pieces. They love to display them. So uh, Coulter Pines are what they are called. And uh, I believe I have an example here, yes, of a Coulter uh, Pine tree. So you could see what they look like when they grow on the tree. Now, these are also uh, West Coast Pines. So people who are on the West Coast definitely have the coolest uh, pine cone trees available and the ones that are the most lucrative. Now, you're probably sitting there, some of you from the East Coast, and saying, what about me? I'm going to get to that in just a moment. We're going to end off with uh, one of those. But before I do, I also want to show you the uh, sugar pines. Now, these are also uh, West Coast pines as well, but they are nice long pines, as you can see here. People love the long ones as well. So there's all sorts of reasons why people love different types of pine cones. Sometimes it's for what's inside, like the knob pines. Sometimes it's for just how big they are. Sometimes it's for how long that they are. There's there's all different reasons. And you can see here how you would easily ship these. You just wrap, you know, this person just bubble wraps them, puts them right in a box like that. Uh, pretty simple uh, and straightforward. Uh, these are not as lucrative, but for only 12 of them, these sold for $20 plus uh, $40 shipping. So that's 60 bucks uh, right there for just 12 pine cones. So if you have access to uh, uh, sugar pines out there on the West Coast, this is another uh, type to look for. And uh, this is an example here of the sugar pine uh, tree, just to give you uh, a visual on what it is you're looking for uh, with that. Now, for my uh, East Coast folks, my East Coast peeps, uh, what you want to look for would be the pitch pine cones. These are fairly common. Uh, they don't go for a lot of money. Unfortunately, if you live on the East Coast, there's not really too many cool pine cones that are going to sell for a lot of money. But... For a hundred pitch pine cones to sell them for forty bucks, essentially twenty nine dollars plus nine dollars shipping, that's not bad. I mean, these are not expensive. They are uh, fairly common. They're pretty much this pine tree is all over the uh, all over the East Coast, and again, they're, they're pretty small. Uh, you could see. Here is an example of what you'd be looking for for a, uh, a, a pitch pine tree. But uh, they're all around, and uh, you can see here two sold, so it's not a one-off uh, as well. Uh, people will use these types of pine cones to make ornaments and decorations and all sorts of things. So there's a lot of money to be uh, made out there in nature. Again, you do have to make sure that you are following all laws, all rules, all posted signs and regulations, but as long as you do that and you have legal valid access to these types of things, uh, it can be quite lucrative for you. So I hope that you found this very interesting. Uh, if you did, please make sure you uh, that you share this with somebody else because I guarantee you there's a lot of people that don't know about this and the potential money involved. Uh, make sure that you uh, like the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, uh, check out my channel. I've got uh, almost almost 550 videos. In fact, this will be the 550th video on this channel. So make sure you go check out all the other ones. There's tons of useful free information on here for you to help you uh, with your reselling business. Um, if you uh, want some more information uh, on reselling and you want to get in touch with me on other areas of social media, then come by to my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, and come by and follow me on Instagram. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'm putting up a lot more content uh, up there. I'm showing a lot more things in my regular stream in terms of things that are selling, especially some things on the lower end of the price uh, range because I don't always cover those uh, on the 
the YouTube channel. So you could go there uh, to find out some more uh, useful tidbits of information on other types of items to look for to make some profit on. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you back at the next one, everyone. Take care.